Okay, this is on the 82 Camaro. Uh, it's been setting up for uh, almost 21 years. And the brakes, the caliper was uh, locked up. So I ended up taking off the hose here and try to bleed it. There's no flow out of the hose here. And the proportional valve isn't tripped. So I've been trying to get this fitting off just to see if it's the hose that's probably got a failure inside. This has got a uh, big old crack here, so it needs to be replaced anyways. But I finally got this off, and that's got a 3 8 inch use a flare fitting here, uh, wrench. Otherwise, you'll booger this up. But I had to go ahead and take a wire brush and get all the rust off this. And then I bombed it with... Uh, coil here underneath this and I've literally I've tried three times since last weekend to get this off and couldn't thought I was going to bust it off so I finally got it off this morning uh, just by going ahead and you know using some patience some brute force but before that I didn't want to bust it off so basically scratched off all the rust around here got some coil in there this is a 5 8 inch on mine that will grab the top of this hex and then this will go like this so I've got flow there which is good so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this line a little later but it's the same on the other side too the driver side this is the passenger side and I've got a new hose to put in and so I'm going to do that a little bit later so what I was really like is down here on the I think it's the Wall Street Journal I was like one of these people here that are just caught in a vortex trying to uh, fix this thing and I really pulled on this last weekend I I pulled as much as I dare and started to screw this up, the hex, and that's with the proper good wrench. So I kind of backed off because I don't want to replace this line just yet. I'm going to do that later. I'm probably going to put some new steel lines on. I just want to get this to go. So got this off. This will screw up paint, of course. That's brake fluid. But I got no bleeding action, so... The hose is clogged. Got a new hose to put on. And look at that. That's from 1982. It's got 297,000. Really, it, it got clogged probably because it lack of use. These have got money, let many layers on there, but that that needs to be replaced probably corroded inside that's the original hose okay this is the one on the frame I've got some coil on there and got some hook nose pliers believe these two clips are the same. It looks like a hex hole that fits in there. Zoom in. This is the passenger side. I'm going to leave it sort of snug until I get the other hose in. Of course, this is the one that's clogged. They're actually both clogged. Okay, this is the stubborn left side. 
going to place this hose anyway, so I've been trying to, I've heated this thing up to where you can't touch it. And I've also gone through and frozen this, trying to get this joint out. I still can't get that out. I've been tapping on it. I've been uh, using wire brush and getting in here, gone up under here with a pen knife and got up around the threads. And I've used several different wire brushes here. And I can't get that out of there, so looks like I'm going to, I know I'm going to replace the hose, but probably going to be replacing this brake line. I don't know if there's enough. If you just uh, cut this off, you could extend this up. I guess if you want to cheapskate, you could do that and re-flare it. But the nut's really destroyed. I can't get any torque on it, even with a flare wrench here. It's starting to round off. I've been messing with this for a week. So, I've gone through here and frozen this. So this is hot. Ooh, that's cold. I'm trying to get some stuff in that joint. If you can see some bubbles get in the joint, it's a good sign. But uh, this has been on there for since 1982, and it just does not. Oh, it's hot. Didn't want to budge. I've had this clip off. Sometimes a thermal shock between the two will open up the gap and you can get some penetrant in there. I think you can see a bubble, right? If you see a bubble in there going into the gap, that's a good sign. But I've been, I fooled with this last weekend and then this weekend. I got no luck. So, I got a one of these brake lines on order. This is the driver's side. The other one I got off, I loosened this up, but this is just not going. Okay, this is the third gen Camaro 82. Just got through cutting off the brake line here with the cutoff wheel. Been messing around for a week to get this off and couldn't get it off. Heated this up, froze the pipe. Use Croil. Uh, it's totally goofed up. And over here, in this fitting, look at this here. And I took the clip off over here. The uh, actually, this is completely. These two parts aren't even connected together anymore. Steel's completely rusted. Look at that through. So there's no flow through this pipe. So this is weeping out here, which is good. I'm going to replace this anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put a flare fitting on this right now just to go ahead and get going. This is, of course, the passenger side, so it's got two little um, slots here. On the 82 and the other side, it's got a hex here. So I used to cut off a little got in there and just buzzing off in a few seconds but I've been fooling around with this thing for way too much time and I got a new line coming in from a place in Ohio and this goes in here like this this has just been a nightmare the other one I got off but it was really tough so this whole line is clogged up and some dregs came out of this and now it's coming out fairly clear here and it's going to come out because of just gravity so we're going to see if we can clean it up put a flare fitting on it double flare and it, it'll reach up there it doesn't have that much more but 
I've got new stainless lines to put in here later. But I just want to get the calipers on this other stuff. It's okay, I've got the new hose installed, but I haven't screwed it on yet. And I want to just show that that's just the flow that's coming out of there due to gravity. Let me put my finger here to stop it. I don't have the top of the uh, master cylinder off, but this is the old hose that has uh, no flow through it because it's just old and got a. So I'm gonna hook this up here in a second. It'll come out pretty quick. That's just due to gravity. And this is gonna go up through here. This has got a hex on it. 82 Camaro passenger side. There's a clip that goes on the bottom. 